Why do they say water like that? Is like a joke or something? We say it. We go. Put it's in the water. patois. It's a Jamaican version of saying water. So water. They, say, they say water. You got to boil your water, and they say uh. your water. In fact, if you sang that, they'd call it cultural appropriation, Fred. They were no, they were. I know, but everybody's doing my accent. Uh, uh, Is it cultural appropriation? It's when suits. They criticise when suits. What do you mean, Nigel? If a white person has a black accent, that's considered to be a crime. You know, they should be cancelled. It depends for it. in what context. If you're taking a piss, then you're taking a piss. But if you're not, then you're not. So you can't. It sort of, sort of can't win territory. No, nah, it just depends on the context. You know, it's right, rather like you know, you go to a fancy dress party, dress as something, and now the press will say it's cultural appropriation. Like what? Because if oh, you were to do blackface, then it dress, is wrong. Dress as a Mexican or whatever it is, you know. Well, yeah, because you can't take, you can't use somebody's culture as a costume, as a fancy dress. The Mexican outfit is tradition to them. Like that's what, that's been in their in their in their culture for decades. That's why in America they don't dress up as Native Americans because it's not a joke. Yeah. Yeah, I I I don't know what the rules are, Nella. I do not know. <laughs> yeah, oh. and I had a chat with Nella about the wasser, and I was saying, well, hang on, Nella, is it OK if a white person says wasser and does a Jamaican accent? And there just seems to me to be most, this most enormous confusion mm -hmm. as to what you can and can't do, what you can and can't wear. I mean, to be honest with you, I'm no further forwards as to what's acceptable and what's not. He just doesn't get it, I know. I never, it's just... And I know I have. It doesn't. It, with me, yep. I still it doesn't bother me. Him. It doesn't bother me because I expect it from him. But it's just it's the delusion that confuses me a little bit. Like Scary. I'm very much aware that these kind of things exist, and I have a lot to learn, especially mm. being in the position I'm in. I've been so blessed, and like I haven't had to consider those circumstances. Mm. But when you see it, it's the ignorance of like not caring about what offends other cultures. I know the frustration. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's what it is. You carry yourself like a fucking queen. Thanks, girl. Like, you sit there and you, like, you say what needs to be said, but you don't get... <sighs> yeah, everyone's entitled to their own Wearing opinion. Wearing a dress. But at the end of the day, the dress right is right, right. So wrong stupid. Is wrong. I was like, no, 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 it's not a dress. Yeah, like... It is what it is. When Nigel was speaking about the cultural appropriation, I was just so disappointed in him because we've been getting along so well and vibing. And so I was honestly saddened and disappointed by that because that hurt my feelings. I can't even lie. Like, bro, we live together. These are your thoughts. Do you know Nella and Nigel's had a ding dong? What, an argument? Well, it's, no, she's just a bit upset and I don't really know why. They were saying, like, we were saying, like, water. You know, like we said, oh, water. And we all just say it. And he was like, I'm surprised you can say that these days, like, yeah. But then it was like, of course you can, like, it's fine to say that, like, I think just making it okay, do you know what I mean, because yeah. he'd said that. And then something come up about dressing up like a Mexican, something like that. We weren't there down the creek when we had the big one about... Well, no, she, well, I no, was I was saying that Gracie came up and she thought it was, it was all going yeah. off. And he went, so it's just something like, well, I can't get a GP appointment because of all the immigrants. I went, hang on, hang on. <laughs> that. When we were talking about it, he was saying, like, it's just about the population, but the way that he's, like, promoted that, in yeah. his work has just been a bit inhumane almost, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. And it's like, hang on. When it comes down to being a person and just protecting your kids, yeah. you'd do anything, wouldn't you? Yeah. 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 Anything. Wherever you live, wherever yeah, country. Course. you country. I wouldn't think about the other country I'm going to and what no. they think of me. I'd get there exactly. however I could. 100%. Do you know what? Then I did that conversation well. The public have decided the person they want to see face dreaded beds is... Both of you. Get yourselves ready. We'll see you at the motel a little bit later. Nella, the public love you. You do realise that, don't you? Yep. You must have a lot of fans. Come on! Your TikTok will double. It will double. After Nigel made all them statements about cultural appropriation, speaking to Nigel was the last thing I wanted to do because I don't want to think about that situation fresh before I go into a trial, so there's a time and a place. Time and a place. You okay, love? Yep. You sure? Yep. Good. Do you think you're being picked up? Yeah, I'm being very calm. Wow.
I can tell you was upset. Yeah. I still want to make a scene. Yeah. I just, I don't know. Nella is as tough as old boots. When she gets nominated, she just goes into a little into her head a little bit, and then she gets herself in a, in a mental place, and then she just she just knocks it out of the park. Good luck, Nella. Thank Good luck. You. Go well. You'll be a star, Nella. You know you are a star. I look after you. Look after you.